Thank you to the moderator for the introduction. Um, thank you all for joining us today. My name is Jason Mills. I am the general manager of Thor Labs Scientific Imaging, and I'll be joined by Martin Parker, who is our engineering manager for the question and answer session at the end of this presentation. Uh, the presentation today will go over uh, our general product line, as well as the introduction of our new cooled Kirilux CMOS camera and some other custom capabilities that we can provide for any of your imaging needs. I'd like to start by giving a brief overview of Thor Labs scientific imaging and really how it came to be. As many of you know Thor Labs, we are a highly vertically integrated organization, and really the acquisition of Digital Video Camera Company in 2011 uh, gave us a unique opportunity to fill a void within our product portfolio and really to continue to build on the vertical integration within both manufacturing and design. Um, it allowed us to add value to the physical and life sciences communities really by leveraging the Thor Labs portfolio and capabilities. And as you can see here, you know, there's two basic examples of integration of our cameras within Thor, other Thor Labs products, such as the uh, inverted microscope and our educational kits. I'd like to start by introducing a range of cameras that we offer here at TSI, uh, starting with our Z-Lux series, which is a fully featured uh, camera for more of the lower end general purpose imaging applications, all the way up to our, our higher end cooled SCMOS, which you'll find in the Quantilux and kind of everything in between. And as you can see here, we offer a variety of different specifications depending on the application and the needs, um, as well as some more specialized things such as polarization measurement options. And here are a few examples of applications which our cameras are suited for, um, ranging from more microscopy-based things uh, to polarization measurement or machine vision inspection. All cameras also come with software. Uh, so we do offer ThorCam, which is a easy to use general purpose uh, GUI that customers can use to exercise our cameras. And for those that are looking to integrate cameras into either their products or different experiments, we also offer a fully featured Windows and Linux SDKs. Uh, as well as this, we also offer a range of third-party application support from Micromanager, MATLAB, and LabVIEW. As I mentioned earlier, a big piece of the Thor Lab scientific imaging strategy is really the integration of our products into the rest of the Thor Labs product portfolio. As a result of that, there was a lot of focus on different mounting features to make sure that we could maximize a lot of that flexibility. Um, our most cameras come with a standard SM1 thread, as many as you may be familiar with the rest of the Thor Labs portfolio, also compatible with our cage system, which is shown here. So a nice feature for building um, cage-based microscopes and things of that nature. Um, the other nice feature is that uh, these cameras, the blocking IR blocking filters or windows can also be removed for applications which require specific bandpass filters and other things to be inserted into the camera close to the sensor, as well as standard conventional C mounting for mounting to microscopes or compatibility with standard machine vision lenses. We also offer a variety of adapters to adapt to different configurations everywhere in between. We offer a series of triggering modes on most of our cameras. Uh, these include modes like bulb mode, which essentially allows the camera to expose while the trigger is high and then stop low, as well as traditional trigger modes where it's just looking for a TTL pulse to capture a single image. Uh, there's also a lot of care taken with the design of these trigger modes to really uh, reduce jitter um, and exposure latency and variation. Uh, for when you need to capture events that are occurring very quickly um, or in a small time scale. Um, in addition to this, we also offer a selection of breakout boards as we shown here, which is a breakout board that's married with an Arduino board to essentially um, mate to the camera and break out these discrete connections into separate cables. This is really useful for applications like um, manufacturing test fixtures where it needs to be coordinated with other equipment um, or general R&D development uh, where you need to monitor operation of the camera in relation to something else that's occurring within the system. Uh, in addition to, to this Arduino-based board, we also offer a standalone breakout board uh, that will marry to this camera. 
that we've gone over the general camera offering that we've got, uh, I'd like to introduce our cooled Kira Lux 5 megapixel CMOS camera. Um, this is really a cost effective lab workhorse. Um, so at this time, the price point of this camera uh, is sub 5K. Um, which lends itself well to general applications that don't need a very high-end uh, SCMOS device. Uh, it offers up to 35 frames per second with a low read noise of 2.5 electrons of RMS. Um, the other nice feature with our cameras are they feature hermetically sealed uh, chambers for a long lifetime, so they're warranted up to five years. Um, the other nice thing about this as well is these are all fanless cooling designs, so we don't have to worry about vibrations that are traditionally introduced with a, a fan type system. Uh, the other nice thing about the cooling is that it we see a 10x improvement in dark current. So for long exposure applications where dark current is your predominant noise source, uh, there's a large improvement there. Um, so th this camera is really ideal for applications like particle tracking, uh, astronomy, and fluorescence microscopy, as well as a range of others. I'd now like to talk a little bit more about our thermoelectric cooling in the chambers. Um, we actually use a pretty cool technology. So unlike a traditional hermetic chamber uh, where the chamber might be sealed using O-rings and uh, specialty epoxy to hold that seal, um, which can break down over time, uh, we actually employ uh, a laser welding technology to basically fuse the, the metal together to avoid that. Um, that's one of the things that allows us to offer uh, the longer warranty on these sorts of chambers. Uh, the chambers itself, uh, we take the sensor and physically mount it to a thermal electric cooler within the chamber. Uh, the whole assembly is then uh, well cleaned uh, within a clean room. Um, sealed, the unit will go into the laser welder uh, where the unit's laser welded and we'll actually show a, a short video here on how that process is done. Uh, and then once that's done, the chamber will come out and get checked. Uh, it will get uh, then evacuated and backfilled uh, with the gas, um, which at that point the chamber will be sealed. And again, we, we double check that to ensure that there's no uh, leaks before it goes into the, the final uh, weld process. So uh, this is a capability that we're very excited about um, and also have the ability to offer some custom configurations, you know, not only for cameras, but for really other devices as well uh, that you may have a need for a hermetically sealed packaging. So here we'll actually be showing the laser welding process. You'll first notice that it will go and do a tack welds to hold the cover on and then go around and weld that entire surface. One of the things that's important with the hermetic chamber design is really choosing materials that have complementary coefficients of thermal expansion. And this is not only to ensure that during the welding process we're ending up with a hermetic weld, i.e. that it doesn't end up with any micro cracks that would compromise the ceiling of that chamber, but also for long term. Um, that way, as the chamber is going through a lot of temperature cycling over its time, it can maintain uh, the integrity of that weld. So as we talked a lot about the vertical integration that we have as Thor Labs from cameras to optics and really everything in between, um, we also offer a range of custom and OEM solutions. Um, here we actually have a custom solution of a, a tubular type camera uh, to be inserted into a remote application. Um, so we can offer, as this is an example, uh, custom enclosures, both cooled and non-cooled, um, private labeling as well as custom electronics for application-specific timing and triggering modes. So in addition to the custom features we talked about above, uh, here's a few examples of some other specials that we've done um, for customers, um, such as reconfiguration of our standard cameras to fit within a specific OEM housing, as we're showing on the top image, um, as well as services like faceplate removal. Um, which is really ideal for applications such as beam profiling and things like that, um, where you know, they can't do with the Edelon effects that are introduced uh, with the windows. Um, the other nice thing about this feature is that since we can remove the windows, it also gives us an option to offer an array of different coded windows depending on the application. So whether it's a need for a bandpass filter, or special AR coatings, um, really at that point, we can put any custom windows on there. 
And we've also showing to the right side here, a typical application for a Vixel inspection, um, where they're doing a beam profile measurement, which requires us to, to remove the window. Um, and we can offer this service on pretty much any of the sensors that we offer in the catalog. Um, or if you've got a device that you're using ourself, that's, um, that's obviously something that we'd be interested in taking a look at and working with you on. In addition to some of the custom features and capabilities mentioned before, I'd also like to mention a little bit about our two camera mount, uh, which essentially allows us to mount any two of our cameras aligned to each other to be able to offer live, true, full resolution, dual channel imaging. So this is interesting for applications such as uh, multi-spectral imaging, where you need to measure two different um, band passes together on one live image. Uh, there's also a capability to offer uh, multivariate optical computing elements. So this essentially allows, um, with a custom design for cameras, to basically look and detect certain signals uh, within a scene. And those are generally designed to a specific uh, application. Uh, so this allows the camera with a lower QE to uh, generally pick something out within a scene that it wouldn't be able to do. Um, and it also uh, reduces the computational time uh, because you were looking for specific signatures within a scene. So as a camera design group, we've put a fair amount of care into introducing some modularity into our cameras to allow easy access to the AR coded windows or and our blocking filters that we include with our cameras. And really the reason for that is so our customers can also leverage a lot of our other optical elements within the catalog, depending on what their application is. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have our uh, optics business unit within the organization that offers a range of different uh, capabilities um, that can be leveraged for custom OEM designs or general research. And here is just a, an example of those capabilities that can be offered up. Um, this is also something very unique to us as an organization, because as we mentioned earlier, you know, even though we are designing cameras, it's not just about cameras. It's really about the cameras and the entire ecosystem. So, you know, these are one of those capabilities that really make us you know, unique in terms of a one-stop shop for uh, full capabilities. Here are some additional capabilities that we have within the organization to really fulfill any custom needs that you may have as a customer, again, whether it's research or OEM oriented. I'd again like to thank everybody for their time today. Um, we'll open up the session for questions at this point, but at any point in the future, if you do have any questions, whether it be an inquiry for a custom solution or just to understand a little bit more about our products and what we have to offer, uh, please feel free to reach out to us at techsales at thorlabs.com. And again, I appreciate your time today and we'll open it up for questions.